chapter 8. Chapter 8. In chapter 8, we see preparation for the trip. And chapter 8, let me divide this for you. Verse 1 to 14. The people who return with Israel. The people who return with Israel. Verse 1 to 14. And then, verse 15 to 20 how he recruited additional priests or Levites. How he recruited additional priests, Levites. Of the and then verse 21. Verse 21 until verse 23, prayer for the journey. They prayed, he prayed before they set off. Am I going to pass? Then Israel's provision for the temple 24 to 36. 24 to 36. Israel's provision for the temple. So the people who return with Israel, verse 1 to 14, how he recruited additional priests, 15 to 20. Prayer for the journey, 21, 23. Provision for the temple 2436. So, verse 1. Now, this is about 75 years or so after the first group had returned. And by now, the temple has been rebuilt. Remember? Under Israel. But the walls have not been built. The walls have not been rebuilt. That one, wait until Nehemiah come. These are the heads of their father's houses. And this is the genealogy of those who went up with me from Babylon. Of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom. Of the sons of Itamar, Daniel. Now, you remember the names Phinehas and Itamar? These are two uh, main priestly divisions from the family of Aaron. Aaron got four sons, right? Two of them got barbecue because they offered profane fire before the Lord and then left the other two. You can read this in, in Numbers 25 or Exodus 28. You can go and read, but find us at Itama from the priestly divisions. Of the royal, of the sons of David, Hakush, sons of David. It is important to trace that line because until today, the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah to come through the line of David. And it's important to reinstate that royal line. Of the sons of Shachaniah, of the sons of Harosh. Now, just now we just read Daniel. That Daniel is not the Daniel who was carried off from uh, Israel, from Ju Judah, uh, to Babylon, some 70 over years ago. No, not this is another Daniel. Of the sons of Parosh, Zechariah, and registered with him were 150 males. Of the sons of Pahath, Moab, Elihonai, the son of Zerahiah, and with him, 200 males, the sons of Sekaniah, Ben Jahajael, and with him 300 males. Of the sons of Adin, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him 50 males. Please go and add up. See, got 2,000 afterwards. Of the sons of Elam, Jesha Ayer, the son of Atta Liar, and with him 70 males. Of the sons of Shepha Tyre, Jebel Dyer, the son of Michael, and with him 80 males. Of the sons of Joab, 
Obadiah, the son of Jael, and with him 218 males. Of the son of Shelomith, Ben Joseph Fire, and with him 160 males. Of the sons of Bibai, Zechariah, the son of Bibai, and with him 28 males. Of the sons of Ashgad, Johanan, the son of Hakka Tan. Okay, we have better not say anything. <coughs> <laughs> Sounds like Chinese. Eh? And with him 110 males. Of the last sons of Adonikam, whose names are this Ephili, Lech, Hilek, Jael, Shamaiah, and with him, and with them 60 males. Also of the sons of Big Vi, Utai, and Zabu, and with them 70 males. Now, these were the people who went with him back to Jerusalem. But I'm sure there were many others, right? There were 2 million left there, 49,000 came back with the first group, and now second group, these are the people. The Holy Spirit, Israel, name Holy Spirit, right? Holy Spirit, God, God the Holy Spirit, will take you as far as you want to go. The Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. The Holy Spirit will not force you. The Holy Spirit will not force the rest who choose to stay in the comfort and luxury of Babylon. So these people wanted to go, so they are recorded for us. Now in the second section, recruiting additional priests or Levites. Verse 15. Now, I gathered them by the river that flows to Ahava. Those who went to Israel, you buy a lot of uh, those things, right? See, my hair still didn't grow. <laughs> now, I gathered them by the river that flows to Ahava. And we camped there three days. Joshua, Joshua, when he brought his people and they crossed in, in, uh, in the book of Joshua, when he brought his people and they crossed the river Jordan into the promised land, their first stop also they rested there three days, preparation. You can go read uh, Joshua chapter 3. Okay? They rested there three days. And we came there three days. And I looked among the people and the priests and found none of the sons of Levi there. You know the Levi? The Levi? Well, priests, I mean from the Levites, you have priests, right? Only from the family of Aaron. But the rest uh, are supposed to do work. Work. Because the temple needs maintenance and, and yeah. all these things. They, they are also part of the clergy, so to speak. Eh? They didn't come. Then who's going to do the work in the temple? And I looked among the people and the priests, priests were there, and found none of the sons of Levi there. I mean, we come to church on Sunday. Then on the Sunday, we've got Holy Communion. Where are all the deacons? We are all the ushers and whatever. That day on strike. Problem, right? <clears throat> then I sent for Eliezer, Ariel, Shema, Aya, El Nathan, Jarib, El Nathan, Nathan, Zechariah, Meshulam, leaders. Also for jo Joy Arib, El Nathan, men of understanding. So he found leaders, he found people of understanding, and I gave them a command for Ido, the chief man at the place of Kashi fire. And I told them that they should say to Ido and his brethren, the Netanin, at the clay at the place Kashi fire, that they should bring us servants for the house of our God. You know the Netanims? They were captives. But they were, because there was a covenant between Joshua and them, so they were just kept for labor. Then, by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of Mahli, the son of Levi. So found a Levi. The son of Israel, namely Sherebiah, with his sons, 
and brothers, 18 men, and Hashabiah, and with it Jeshaiah of the sons of Merari, his brothers and their sons, 20 men, also of the Netanim, whom David and the leaders had appointed for the service of the Levites, 220 Netanims. Even in the days of David, they appointed all this Netanim, so they were kept for the service of the Levites. All of them designated by name. Actually, it wouldn't be how you recruited additional priests. I think it should be more uh, appropriately how you recruited additional Levites. The, the priests were there. The Levites were not there. So, anyway, finally some showed up. And what you see, actually the number is quite small. Right? But symbolically, it is important. Because it is the future of Israel. Because the focus is on the, even as we study Chronicles and so on, the focus is not on the throne. The focus is on the altar. So now we go all the way back to Jerusalem to, to build the temple. But if we don't have the Levite, who is going to attend to the work of the temple? So me. So small numbers, but nonetheless important. Now, prayer for the journey, which is important before we step out. Seek the Lord's blessing. Then I proclaim a fast there at the river of Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from Him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possessions. You know why the right way? Because if you go to the wrong way, so to speak, you might be caught by bandits, you might be robbed, your, your life might be uh, uh, threatened by wild bees and so on and so forth. So Lord, give us a safe journey. And also for the little ones, we've got little ones with us. Lord, protect us. And you read here, I proclaim a fast. Fast is to deny the physical, to focus on the spiritual. That is fasting. Physical tells you, hungry, that you must eat. But you're going to deny that so you can focus on the spiritual thing. And if you read later when we go to Nehemiah and we go to even Esther, you know Esther? She proclaimed a fast in the land. She said, now I go and see the king but you guys fast while I go and see the king. Nehemiah also fasted. When they were up there in Babylon, no temple, no worship. So those who are a bit more pious, so to speak, um, they fasted. So fasting grew in importance when they were up in the exile. And there was like a, a sign of penitence, you know what I mean? In a sign of penitence, you know, just coming before God. So, verse 22, For I was ashamed to request of the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road, because we had spoken to the king, saying, the hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek Him. But His power and His wrath are against all those who forsake Him. Because He had already told the king, Our trust is in the Lord. He will protect us from the enemies on the road. Because He is for those who love Him. But for those who forsake Him, God's wrath is upon them. So I cannot now go back to the king with the tail between my legs. Huh? King, after Zerzus, I changed my mind. I am very scared. Can you send some escorts? Cisco better. No, not. our trust is in the Lord. And I tell you, stand fast. Because my life experience and everything, I tell you, people will come and, and tell you all kinds of things, offer all kinds of alternatives. No, stand fast in the Lord. So we fasted and entreated our God for this and He answered our prayers. And He answered our prayers. And that is so good. I mean, Israel was writing later after the event, right? Like I will tell you now, God answered my prayer. God answered our prayer. 
prayers. What happened in the last 15 months? God answered our prayers. And now Israel could write, we trusted in the Lord, we fasted, we entreated our God for this, and He answered our prayers. Underline, I underline my Bible. He answered. Ask Him. And He answers. So Father, we are so blessed even by the word covered this morning. Indeed, Lord, you are a faithful God. And even in the midst of all these enemies, those who complain against the people of God, those who seek to, to disrupt your purpose even in the people who came back to Jerusalem, Lord, you chose to put all this asunder and you raise your servant Israel even for a time like this. And that was because he prepared his heart, he sought the law, he did it even as you enabled him, and that he could teach it. Lord, help us to be like Israel, to be a model that we can impact others, even as you use us. For we know, Lord, in all that we do, in all that we ask, you will answer us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.